Putting the power of a metal cutting bandsaw into a handheld tool was a great idea. Making it even better is that the people at Milwaukee Tool, with their nothing but heavy duty tradition, is building this tool. Milwaukee wrapped his tool in something they call job site armor. That's a proprietary composite material that's designed to stand the scuffs and dings of the job site or the shop. The deep cut part of the saw's name comes from this extended opening that lets you cut material up to 5 inches square. And while they were making that cut opening larger, they were packing the 11 amp motor into a smaller housing. Reducing the size of that motor housing lets you see quite a bit more around the blade area. The downside of being able to see the cut area so clearly is that you're fresh out of excuses for making the cut in the wrong place. The main grip area is designed to be very comfortable to the hand and give you good access to the trigger type on off switch. And just above that is the speed control dial. On top of the handle is a rubber covered button that looks like it might be a switch for locking the trigger in the on position, which would be a pretty bad idea with a tool like this I'm afraid. What this button does do is turn on the LED work light that illuminates the blade area which makes you more accurate and safer. This kind of saw would be very difficult to control if it wasn't for this extendable shoe. And all you need to adjust it is your thumb. And much like in your full size machines, the blade circulates through the Milwaukee deep cut bandsaw on a pair of large diameter wheels that have rubber tires on the edges. The design of these tires and the rest of the blade drive system keep you from having to adjust the tracking. Because the blade has to be twisted where it goes through the blade opening, Milwaukee builds in these tough ball bearing guides. There's identical sets of ball bearing guides on both sides of the opening. To reduce the amount of cutting debris that circulates through this saw, Milwaukee added this brush that keeps the wheel clean. Changing blades could be a real chore, except that Milwaukee built in this tool-free system that starts by flipping this lever open to release all the pressure on the blade. With the tension release, we just have to get the blade out of its track, and for that I use the pliers because it's a lot safer. Then you just lift the blade up, turn it around, and it'll slip out of the bearings. To reinstall the blade, I found it's easiest to just put it in between the bearings across that cut opening first. Then we can lay it back and work it into the blade channel around both of the wheels. This is one of those things that once you do it a time or two and see that you still have all your fingers, it'll go a lot easier. And then once you have the blade in this track, you just flip that lever again to reapply the tension to the blade. And now we're going to go through the whole blade alignment process. We plug it in, hit the motor a little bit, and the blade runs right in where it's supposed to be. And that's it. Right now there's probably a bunch of people jumping up and down that have been fighting their full size bandsaw blade tracking for years. The handles are positioned in such a way that it's just comfortable to have the saw aligned properly for a cut. I set the saw to number one for the slowest blade speed. I'm not applying any pressure to the cut, I'm just letting the weight of the saw control how fast it cuts. In addition to giving you lots of control, you don't overheat the blades and they'll last a lot longer as well. So if you cut metal and like the idea of a handheld bandsaw that can handle just about all of the projects you tackle, you need to take a look at the Milwaukee Deep Cut Bandsaw. If you've used Milwaukee tools before, you know that their quality means that you're only going to buy this tool once. And I can tell you from experience that there's no better way in the world to save tool money than to buy the right one the first time around.